Hey guys, what's going on? It's about time we have that talk. The one talk that is dividing the gaming community as a whole. The one talk that, well, we've had this talk before actually. And in fact, we've had this talk numerous of times in the past. But it seems like it's not getting better. And it's, well, it's getting worse. It's getting so bad to the point now that developers are actually interacting on social media with their clientele to correct them on the facts that their clientele are spreading throughout social media that are false truths, lies, words to manipulate their fan base here on YouTube for the sake of entertainment. You know, those kind of people. And with me today, I have Shaner. Hey guys, what's up? I love this kind of stuff. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Shaner, we've been doing this for a long time. We've, we've seen a lot of things together here on YouTube. We've seen, you know, the rise and fall of some of these YouTubers. Nothing's ever going to change, it seems like. I mean, you look at Twitter, like I said, and these people are spreading lies and misinformation so much to the point that developers are having to correct them. I, I find that ludicrous. How are you going to... What I don't understand, Shaner, is how, how are these people going to argue... With the literal creators and the people that are in charge of their marketing. The people that do the marketing themselves. That know what they have done. I, I mean, I don't get it. I really don't get it. It makes absolutely no sense. And it's sad that it's gotten to the point where the developers actually feel the need to respond to these idiots. I mean, before, like last generation of consoles, people could talk all the shit they wanted. And it was just, it was, that's all it was, was shit. Now it's so consistent and so just downright like on a whole nother level that the developers feel a need to argue back that's wrong they, they, they should never have to do that they should never have to answer to these people in any way shape or form they shouldn't even pay them any credence whatsoever i understand wanting to respond to your fan base i get that but having to justify or should i say correct their blunders, their misinformation for this because they can't get their shit together. I don't see that as a developer's job, but they know if they don't, that means that people that are saying this are going to forever get that attention and that false, the false truths and the lies are going to keep coming out. And if Microsoft or Sony or any of the guys that don't, you know, if they don't decree these things, uh, people are going to believe it. And you know what's funny, Shaner, is these same people that you call out over Twitter and stuff, they say, oh, you're just being a weirdo, that this YouTube stuff's only for entertainment purposes. Well, if it's only for entertainment purposes, then why are you going to Twitter and making an ass out of yourself so much to the point that the developer has to come forward and bitch slap you down? Yeah, and those very same people will sit in some videos when something good happens to them and say stuff like, you know, you never know who watches your quote-unquote shit, so, you know, watch what you're doing, watch what you're saying. But then when something happens that just gets on their nerves or they don't think is right, I mean, it's a two-week propaganda damage control session on fucking Twitter. Exactly. And this is the kind of trash that we have to deal with in the YouTube community. You guys want to know why this YouTube hero stuff exists? Do you guys want to know why we have this communist-like structure with YouTube that's been enforced since last year, all of a sudden making an ugly uh, re resurgence now? It's because of content like this. People actually believe the stuff that a lot of these idiots are saying in their YouTube videos, and, that, and they don't like being called out in their videos, so what do they do? They go and they block 90%, if not all, the people that disagree with them. And I've disagreed with some of these people on a respective level. I've never attacked them. I never maliciously went out of my way to hate anybody, to do that to them. And these people don't even care like that. Like, you, you could approach them with as much respect as possible, and these guys will block you. I, I find that childish. And I find that feeble-minded, nonetheless. It's completely unacceptable in the normal world. It's almost like a bunch of hive mind individuals stay hunkered into their own little groups as much as possible so that way they could believe whatever each other are saying. And as soon as somebody is there to challenge that, they fear that that group is going to be broken apart. So what do they do? They force each other into these situations where they have to either sink or swim. It, this is gaming, people. This isn't 
politics. This isn't religion. This isn't things that actually change the world for the worse or for the better. Gaming was supposed to be the thing that brings us all together, not divide us and put us in these little fucking hive mind like groups and make us continuously fight each other over stupid opinions. Yeah, I mean, ev everyone says that the YouTube thing is for entertainment. Well, no, it's actually reversed. The gaming thing is for entertainment. The YouTube thing, I think, should be used more toward facts or jokes or something like that. I mean, there is a form of YouTube that is entertaining, but when you're bitching and treating entertainment like politics, then you've completely lost it, in my opinion. I mean, you're... You're the problem at that point. Absolutely. And that's kind of what I said in my Twitter day, too. I said, if you're going to go ahead and divide other people, if you are the problem. Simple as that. You are the issue. If you tell your friends or your associates that they are no longer able or allowed to associate with other people based on your preference of gaming, you are the number one issue in this country with what's wrong. If you think that your gaming preference trumps everybody else's personal lives. Simple as that. Yeah, you, you want to add politics to gaming. Well, you are the negative politic in this entire country if you want to throw politics into the mix. Absolutely. I mean, I remember as a kid not going through this, right? Now that we have internet and now that we have ways to connect with people, networking and, you know, technology is on the forefront of, of the modern era, man. Like, it's growing fast. Consoles are being pushed out faster. Cell phones, new iterations are every year, now almost every six months. I mean, technology is just booming so quickly. And the best thing we could come up with is, I don't like you because you play the Wii. Or I don't like you because you play a PlayStation. Or I don't like you because you're a PC or Xbox guy. It's at this point, why are we even in a democratic slash republic uh, society? Like, it doesn't make sense. Why are we even in that if... Somebody else can tell me what to do with my life because of what I buy. And if this is the way it's going to be, then why is it just in gaming? Why, are, why aren't, like, Blu-ray player uh, people mad at DVD player people? Why aren't, freaking, <laughs> uh, you know, Coke drinkers mad at Pepsi drinkers? I mean, come on. You see how retarded this is? Other, you know, people that are loyal to certain brands, not just in gaming. Matter of fact, every brand outside of gaming, they're okay with the person that uses the other products. So why do, you know, 90% of the gaming community have to be a bunch of assholes? I mean, there's I no other way either. to put it. It's absolutely asinine. It shouldn't even come to this. It should never have to come to a point where we have decided that as gamers, that this is an acceptable way of being. We should have never accepted this. We should never have to accept this. You should be able to call out people for their bullshit and do so all well, just by doing so. You should be, you should, you have that right, right? And these people will sit there and say, well, I have a right to block you. And you're absolutely right. But when you see your channels and you see that there's actual developers looking at you, taking your feedback, I have an issue with you. I have an issue with the fact that developers are even giving you an attention, giving you, an, a, pla giving you a platform. I have an issue when stupid people that don't understand technology who claim to be something they're not just so they can look good in their eyes of their peers are going to blow up facts to be more than what they really are. And that should not be okay. This is this honest reporting should be a law. Honestly, it really should. Honest reporting should be a thing. It should be a law again. It was taken out. It should be put back in. Yeah, exactly. Plagiarism is a law. Well, this should, uh, I think, maybe fall under, like, a slanderous type of law. And, you know, for, you know what, that kind of gets me heated, too, the fact that they lie. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to say at all, ever, that a developer knows what's best for gaming. Because they don't always, they, they maybe don't even half the time. It's a hit and miss, yeah. Yeah, but if these people are going to actually get feedback from the developers and the developer changes one damn thing in the game because of these people, then I've lost all hope. I mean, Absolutely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think there should be some sort of honest reporting law back in stake again? Because I think so. I think it should be. Um, down in the comments, please let me know. And I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody that's been subbed to me. 
Uh, looks like I lost a few subs today, but I don't really care. It's because they probably saw that World of Warships and they're like, oh, he he's uploading this stuff. But I really don't want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, this is going to be a, a multi-platform gaming channel. So I'll be doing PC, Xbox, PS4, and the Wii U. And I'll be doing certain games, of course. And obviously with the Wii U, I can't have any audio whatsoever. So, <laughs> probably no video either, but we're going to try it anyways. Uh, Shaner, you want to... Go ahead and fill in your channel and uh, tell them what you might have uh, coming. Yeah, I actually just uploaded something 30 minutes ago at the time of this recording. I, I unboxed a Power A Xbox controller, the one that mimics the Elite, where you can switch out the analog sticks and all that stuff. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to check that out, that's up. I'm like si five or six subs away from 500, so help me out, guys. Go sub. I'm sick of seeing the four at the beginning. And he hates but, the uh, fact that I passed them up. <laughs> i just like brimstone said i really want to thank everyone that stuck with me and all the new people that have come along i hope you like what you see and i have an update video coming where you'll have a lot to look forward to so thanks for having me brimstone oh as always man i, I love having you on and i love having well pretty much anybody on that i could talk to about this stuff because this sort of thing really bothers me and it sometimes does get to me when it shouldn't but when I see it actually affect developers and publishers, especially people that I've talked to, it pisses me off because it's wasting these people's precious time. They got families to go and attend to, and they don't. They shouldn't have to look back on Twitter to make sure that their fan base aren't being a bunch of fuck ups. But anyways, uh, thanks for coming on, Shane. I really appreciate it. You guys, please go check him out. Let's see if we could get him up to 500. I'm I've passed him just this, this in this week. So uh <laughs> yeah, so um I said it on Twitter. If you guys haven't followed me yet, please go check out my Twitter. It's going to be down below along with his Twitter. Um I'm very active on my Twitter this year. In fact, this year has been the most active it's been for me. So please go check me out down below. And any of those people that I may have um offended down, you know, if you thumbs the video down, leave a comment below as to why you did. I want to know the feedback. If, especially if it's negative towards what I have to say or what Shana here has to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for actually supporting me. And you guys have a great day and we're out.